Hello everyone. Welcome to our Monday Thursday reflection. And this is written by Samantha Crow, but we used to celebrate communion when we had this also. And so it starts. Oftentimes our earthly eyes get clouded with visions of the present time. We work for our own comfort, for productivity and for abundance. We value goods and see quantity over quality. Our temporal short-sightedness sets our paths towards what is quick and pleasurable. Our end goals of eternity get lost in the busyness of life. Revelation 21 verses 1 through 4 gives us a vision of our own true spiritual desire. We are gifted with an image of the new heaven and new earth, a new home without pain, a place to live in communion with our Creator, where God Himself dwells among us. This picture of a new heaven and earth can help guide our time here now on this earth. When earthly things pass away, as in Revelation 21, verse 1, and the new heaven and earth are formed, how will our interactions with each other and with God change? Without the need to strive for comfort, productivity, and material abundance, how will our relationship inter and interactions with earth change? Let us use this vision of new heaven and new earth to guide our earthly interactions now. We can see a reflection of our home to come when we partake in communion together. Gratefully giving thanks for the gift of salvation, we remember Christ's death and resurrection. We look to the promise of a new heaven and earth where God dwells with us. In our new home, we will tr treat earth less selfishly, not looking for what we can get out of this earth for our own comfort or productivity, but for what we can pour back into this earth and into this new creation God has given us. Let's pray now. Sustainer of the universe, empty us of our own desires so that we may receive your vision as fresh and fertile soil prepared to sprout seeds of, the, of new beginning. May your heavenly will be done on earth and by your graciousness, May we create places of renewal while we await the return of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen.